give the time, y'all time to make some serious groceries. Come on, I'll show you the goodies you need to shop for. Oh yeah, bread. You gotta have some. Gotta have some bread for the earth to dressing. Gotta have celery, bell pepper, onions. That's all your seasonings. Oh, and sweet taters. Gotta have some yams. Gotta make candy yams for Thanksgiving. I don't like that one. Oh, I like that one, though. And in New Orleans, you gotta have oysters for the oyster dressing. Lots of oysters. I mean, I mean lots of oysters. Lots and lots of oysters. And it ain't Thanksgiving without green peas. Hi, John. Hey, Frank. And some, and some creamed potatoes. <laughs> you gotta have pecans for the pie. We got the berries for the pie, we need the sauce for the turkey. Of course, you gotta make sure you got all your spices too. Your thyme, your basil, your bay leaf, your salt, your pepper. It's gonna be a good turkey, I can tell you. And pie shells for the pecan pumpkin pie. Need real butter for some flavoring. I'm talking real butter here. Let's get serious. All right, wait a minute. I'm missing something. Oh, the turkey, yeah. Oh, there, there's my turkey, all right. Hey, Frank, how you doing? Hey, Sal. Frank, how about a fresh turkey this year? We have some nice fresh ones. You got fresh turkeys, huh? We got fresh turkeys right there in front of your eyes. What's the difference? What's the difference between the fresh turkey and the frozen one? Frank, the fresh turkey has never been frozen. It has a freshness, a fresh taste to it, whereas your frozen turkey does have a good taste. It's been frozen. It loses a little bit of that. But I got all the richness here, right? That's all I got the richness, everything. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go for all the richness. If it's that rich, I'm going to go for I'm going to go for the big richness. Thank you. <laughs> the hard part's over now. Now we get to the good part. Now we take it all home and we start cooking it. Hey, hey, show you the best Thanksgiving you ever had. Hi, Mavis. Hi, how you doing? Now, once you get home after making groceries, you can't just let the groceries sit around. There's some things you gotta take care of right away. Now, let's talk a little bit about these turkeys for a minute. If you can find a fresh one, you wanna buy them about a day to a day and a half before you're gonna use them. It maintains all that richness and flavor. If you can't get a fresh one, you're gonna have to go with one of these old frozen jobbies. Now, we gotta talk about this for a minute. A lot of folks in New Orleans want to take the turkey and put them in a sink and let them defrost in the running water, leave them out on the top of the counter. Folks, don't do that. You're going to get in a lot of trouble one day doing that. Best thing to do is to either thaw them in a microwave or thaw them out in your refrigerator. Remember, it takes 12 to 15 hours to fully defrost the turkey, about 15 pounds. So tomorrow, we'll show you how to cook all these critters up. Oh, you talk about some kind of good best turkey you ever had. I'm Frank Davis for Channel 4 Eyewitness News and this is Naturally Lawns. I'm gonna thaw this sucker out in the refrigerator. Ain't got no room in the refrigerator. Folks, yesterday we made groceries. Now today we gotta process all the groceries so that we can have something to cook with. The celery, the bell pepper, the onion, the garlic, the parsley, and of course don't throw away the giblets. You gotta have the giblets if you're gonna make cornbread dressing. You need the heart, the liver, the gizzard, the neck, and the piece that went over the fence last. When you chop vegetables, you gotta make sure that your fingers are like that. See, all the time like that. I mean, it looks kinda stupid, but that's how you hold it. Because you never get meat when you don't want meat. Wanna peel the garlic quick? All right, you don't take it and peel it like this, no. What you do is you put it down, and you hit it one time with the knife. And of course, all the garlic pops right out of the pie. You don't wanna cry when you peel onions? Breathe through your mouth. It's that simple. You know, a lot of people cook turkeys in a lot of different ways. You can take him and put him in a baking bag or a browning bag. You can take him and wrap him all over in aluminum foil, or you can tent him. You can put a little tent over the top of it. But if you want a good old traditional turkey, if you want a good Thanksgiving roasted baked turkey, you cook him in the skin Mother Nature gave him, that skin, and you drop him right down inside of that pan that you've already greased. Now, as far as seasons are concerned, you're gonna need salt and pepper and some thyme and maybe a little special poultry seasoning, okay? And don't be afraid to use the butter. Weight Watchers won't care, okay? They're not eating your turkey anyway. And if you can, get up underneath the skin and put some butter up under there too. Just like that, rub it up in there real good. Now we're gonna season him with salt, pepper, thyme, and special poultry seasoning. Put your salt on, and then you go to your pepper. You wanna put your pepper on. Remember, season him good all the way through, all right? that a little time, gotta use a little time on your turkey. It's time for turkey. And some special poultry season. Now you can buy any kind of poultry season you like. I like to make my own. And after Thanksgiving, if y'all wanna send me a self-addressed stamped envelope, I'll tell you how to do it. You sprinkle that on all over. 
And remember, we have to do the same thing on the other side because now you're gonna, again, you're gonna rub it all in into this butter, okay? One more time in the butter. Flip the bread upside down and rub the front end. This little critter is now ready for the oven. First thing you do is set the oven on bake and then you set your temperature all the way up to 500 degrees. You leave the turkey at 500 degrees until he turns a nice light brown all over. You're cauterizing the meat, you wanna seal in all the juices. After the turkey has started to brown, cap off the wings with a little piece of aluminum foil, do the, uh, do the end of the thighs, okay? The legs, rather, the, instead of the thighs. You wanna cap those off so they don't brown. You turn the thermostat down to 200 degrees, and you cook him for about 40 to 45 minutes a pound until he's done. Oh, I gotta show you something. You see this little gizmo right here? That's supposed to pop up when your turkey is done. Only got one question. How do you know when it pops up if you ain't in the oven? Oh, man. A few other points about turkeys now. If you're gonna fry a turkey, learn to debone him. After you debone him, take him and fry him in small pieces if that's what you wanna do. But you can grill them, you can put them on a grill, or you can put them in a smoker. Either way, they're fantastic. Tomorrow, we're gonna to cook the oyster dressing and show you how to make the pumpkin pecan pie. I'm Frank Davis for Channel 4 Eyewitness News, and this is Naturally Nolans. Now, you know, in order to do a Thanksgiving in Nolans, you gotta have special things like creamed potatoes, and you gotta have some green peas, you gotta have candy yams, gotta have a few little pecans to munch on. Hmm? But you got to have oyster dressing. I'm gonna show you how to make the best oyster dressing you ever had. Start off by chopping up a whole bunch of seasonings. Onion, celery, bell pepper, garlic, shallots, and all that good stuff. We're gonna take them and put them down inside of this melted butter. Oh, listen to that. So we can get our oyster dressing started. And we saute that down. Now the oysters go in. And you stir those around into the seasonings, just like this. Got your, your fire up to high. Here's what you do, you cook it to your taste. If you want more oyster liquor, put more in. If you want more garlic, you put more in. If you want more oysters, you put more in. Cook it the way you like it. Mmm, comes out better that way. Let me show you something, look down in this pot. Remember there was no juice in here at all. Now there's a lot of oyster liquor that's been rendered out from the heat. That's where the flavor of the dressing comes in. Mwah! Ready for the breadcrumbs. So how much breadcrumbs do you put in? You put in enough to make it nice and tight. You want to make it pasty, but you don't want to put too much. You don't want it dry. What happens if you put too much? You add a little more liquor. Listen, you can't hurt oyster dressing. There's nothing you can do to ruin it, I guarantee. Turn the fire down, add a little bit more. I want a little bit more in there. But if you put too much in it, don't worry about it. You add a little bit more liquor, okay? A little more liquor to it. Then you taste. You got to taste the whole time you're cooking. If you're not tasting, hmm, how do you know it's good? Okay, the last step is you put in the egg. See how fast you stir those eggs in there so they don't scramble? And now you season it. Why season it at the end? Because oysters usually are salty. You may put salt and pepper without tasting, messed up the dish. Season at the end. One little trick. Before you stuff the oyster dressing inside of the turkey, take a bulb and put some of those turkey drippings down inside of this oyster dressing. And then you stir that all up. Now, as far as your pumpkin pecan pie is concerned, you can use a little pie pumpkin or you can use canned pumpkin. And what you want to do is take your favorite pecan pie recipe and your favorite pumpkin pie recipe and you blend them together and bake them off in one pie shell. Then you graciously top them with some fresh pecan halves, best stuff you ever tasted. What do you do with leftover turkey? Well, you take the leftover oysters you had and you take the leftover turkey, you mix them with celery, bell pepper, onion, charles, a little heavy cream, saute them down. You got the best oisky bisque you ever ate. Oh, I'm making myself hungry. I can't wait till Thanksgiving. I gotta get a snack. Oh, that's my favorite snack right here. Look at here. And yeah. Yes, sir. Good old Libby's potted meat and crackers. Ooh, yeah. I'm Frank Davis for Channel 4 Eyewitness News, and this is Naturally Nolens. Well, y'all know me. I'm thankful for anything. Mmm. Mmm. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all.